Go to his house. No rats were hurting him making this film. Hey everybody and welcome back to the night. It's Midnight here back for another episode of Game of Thrones Tales of Game Series episode number 424. Man, that's a lot of episodes. 24. Uh, we are continuing chapter number 5. A lot happened last episode. Basically, freaking Ramsay Snow happened again. That's what happened. I cannot believe it. He came to Ironrath again and, spoiler alert coming up guys if you haven't watched last episode, he kills Arthur. He basically just slaughters him in a not very nice fashion at all. So he's out of the question now, which is a real bloody shame. And then he said to, uh, basically, was it Asher, oh, find out between yourselves. So that's what we're going to have to do, I guess. We're going to have to deal with it with ourselves. At least Ramsey Come on, not Besker, involved. listen. It's like we're back with How Asher Forrester. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezor Zaraza in my hands and you made me let him go. I did indeed. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over I my one chance to revenge. Isn't worth it. Revenge isn't worth it, Beskar. Your revenge would have cost me everything. It'd be worth it to see him dead. Oh, Wouldn't and be. you'd explain that to my family's corpses. <sighs> we should never have come here. You're right, you're right, Asher. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. But you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. We did, we did. <laughs> Uncle. Here's Malcolm. Let's collect our second friend. sons and get out of here. You're damn right. If you That's did if as we you were told, sons. Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Tuh. Those guys did not get on. I didn't know what to do with Buddy Beska, though. I mean, I, I thought I was doing the right thing by saving him. Your Grace, my nephew hey, has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Maureen, Asha Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Oh God, should I be the honest or not? The reports from the battle are muddled. We have Perhaps some difficulties. We put in nothing to report. Uh, well, we had some difficulties. My time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. And for that, I am grateful. Let's be honest with this. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. T you told Sorry, me Basket. Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. Yes. You have my gratitude. Is this good news? Is this good news, finally? Unfortunately, no, it's I cannot news. spare my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why what? you denied this is me my revenge. You gave your words. What did I tell you? You gave your words. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In she truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss oh, of those man, we've loved. Going on? And we both struggle to do what's right. You honor me. Let's talk payment. Uh, you want to raise you, Grace? I'm on it. You've earned it. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Dragon? No, that would never happen. Got coins for an army. Okay. Gold for the army. This gold will be. Thank of you, use. I need fighters. This is enough. Perhaps you can find the swords you need. Thank you, Khaleesi. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. A little bit of help, I guess. Best straight out of I have other plans there. for you, Malcolm. Plans for your me, plans? Your Grace. You'll help House Forrester? Uh, you'll House help, House, will Forrester. help the House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. 
I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Oh, uh, God. Do so. But let me know your answer soon. That's a little bit of a tough decision then, guys. Do we lose an extra hand? You'd I'd seriously say... consider oh. staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. No if idea. she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I you're right, Uncle. We can't trust bomb. it. Uh, you're, you're right, right Uncle. Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. Yeah. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. The little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. Oh, so what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. She's right. I must talk further with the queen. Don't get yourselves killed. See you later, Malcolm. So, so he's leaving. What exactly now. are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. That's pretty cool, then, guys. Uh, giving Malcolm up for Khaleesi. I can't really deal with that. I can't really, getting a, getting a, like an ally in Iron Wraths, Sorry, in like with with the Iron Throne is a good thing, I guess. So see how that one turns out. And with the gold. We'll take it, we'll take it. It's better than nothing. Did get the army, but we did get some, some to do to make an army. So that's not a bad thing, I guess. So a little bit of good news on that one. Here we go, Garrett at the Northern Forest, so we're basically north of the wall with him. Meeting up with uh, Cotter's sister. No idea how this happened, but oh well, we'll take it anyway, I guess. So weird. So she has, she has, she has, she's getting, she has, she's getting on with the... Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. With Someone has to keep watch. Hmm, he's not very happy. <sighs> oh. Did give him some healing bandages last time, so hopefully he'll be all right. It's getting worse, isn't it? What? No, can't be getting worse. I gave him some poultry or something. Class We're episodes, only yeah. about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built, and from there we can try to find the North Grove. Ah. Right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the free folk. My family's counting. You look, can't stop that me. That was always the plan, south. Cotter. My family's counting. I have me. to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, yeah, Sylvie. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But yeah. why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Hey. Sylvie! Wildlings Don't attacked us. Sylvie it was me. At Castle Black. I want to uh, hear it from him. Wildlings attacked us. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and- well, they stabbed him. Things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Oh, man. Me neither. Harsh. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of Busy wolves nerve. Go back then. more wildlings. Um, it Finn's is real. Probably. Finn? It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. Then you're both idiots. Oh, crap. Finn, massive, will you just piss off? off? Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. it Once Cotter's fit to travel, 
We head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Man, she is oh, don't be about. angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. Did you know she'd refuse? What else are you I can hiding? explain. Uh, why'd you, why bring you me even here? bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. You might again. have to, but she won't help. Then, then convince her. her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she she's right. Know. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Wow. Leaving us behind. Leaving us. Can't believe that. After all we've done for him. Um, I mean, yeah, he did. We did, he has done some things for us, to be fair. But now he's saying, well, now the sister's going... Now we're not, I'm not going either. So that's like, why? You know what I mean? What do we? Why do we deserve that? Eh? After we just, after, to be fair, we healed him to a point where he could, he could. I think that's the best we, thing we could do with the healing. So let's just talk to him. Uh, exit. You're abandoning me. You don't look like it. Why did you? Why lie? didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister. I wanted to. But I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm? You're abandoning me. Uh, you don't like it. How's your arm? How's your friend? arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you God ask? I noticed that. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Okay. Um, you don't look like you her. And your sister. You uh. You don't look much alike. The white hair and. I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Oh, uh, what happened to your village? Why were people afraid of Sylvie? Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Man, so where's your mother now? What happened to your village? Uh, where's your mother now? Where's your mother now? Hard to say for sure. Probably dead. Our village decided Sylvie wasn't welcome there, and our mother. <laughs> oh man, this is pretty. She sad for didn't him. want to leave. Okay, then your village. The whole just village you just out. kicked you out. When Sylvie oh. reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she it's wouldn't survive news. long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Uh, okay, you're so you really won't instead. take me north? I want to help you, Garrod. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, <laughs> I'd be as lost as you. Okay then, let's get it then, I guess. Man, pretty shite news then. So let's see if we can talk to Finn, I guess. And maybe even talk to Sylvie as well. So let's go around here. I don't think we can convince them, unfortunately. But Sylvie's hut's there. Let's look at that. Uh, let's talk to Finn. He'll probably say, actually, let's go have a look at Sylvie's hut first. She either in there or she's like, she's. I think she's gone hunting. So the family token. wonder if her mother gave her that. Mm, probably. Uh, look at the spears, why not? Pretty sharp. Okay, not much to say on spears, and there's a look at the drink. Okay, let's have a oh, look at it. This is that stuff Cotter was drinking. No, thank you, I'm not going to drink that then. Uh, look at the sketches. Little Ooh, Moon. Stuff so far. Yeah, Little Moon indeed. Um, don't think there's anything else. Let's have a quick scan. Nope, let's get the hell out of here then. Unless I want to sleep in the bed. <laughs> Okay, uh, then let's roll on to Finn. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. 
Really? Yeah, we are. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Yeah, man. Uh, come on, Finn. It's hard work, though. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. Yeah. May as well get warm before I die. So we got Finn with us at least. That's good news then, I guess. So, anything else I can do? I guess I could do I could, a bit of a worried walking system going on at the moment. Uh, Sylvie's hut's there. Finn's there. Can I actually go this way, maybe? Or is there anything I can look at on the ground? There's a weird-ass rabbit thingy. How you doing, my friend? I know Sylvie's going to take it out. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. So she's pretty miffed at us lost the food. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. That's pretty pretty cool. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders and the white walkers of I'm course. I'm not a crow anymore. Crows are tough. Uh, a spear sounds nice after all that, uh, doesn't it? They, they can try to dry. kill me if they want. I, I won't let say. them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Don't frighten our dinner away. Okay, so what's she doing? She's gonna go for the spear attack. Shit. Take my boat. Mind if I try? Uh, mind if mind I try? Give it a shot. Go ahead. You know how Still to use that. that. Yeah, I know how to use You're that. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, I are you? I Castle Black. I never miss. Uh, I, I trained, trained Castle, Black. Castle Black. So your shit, then? No! I will not shit! No! So here we go. Uh, hold back. Press and hold right trigger to draw back. Release to fire. Okay, that sounds like a pull out. Damn it, it moved. No! I ballsed it. Oh, crap. I think you need more training. Oh, that was balls. I ballsed it. I, I thought it was going to give me a bit more time than that. So here we go, a bit more training involved. That sounds like a good plan to me. So draw the bow, Garrod. Draw the bow. And and fire. Fire! Got him! I nailed it! Yes. Nailed the rabbit! That was a British house. No rabbits were heard in there making this film. It's not much, <laughs> oh but God. it'll last us. Good shot there, Garrod. That was pretty damn cool. You're not Sorry, half bad rabbit. with a bow. Could come in handy. I like I like using the bow. It's pretty damn cool. Um, you ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone yeah. you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Yeah, we did. Do you know what that's like? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I lost, I my lost old everything. Life. My old life. My house. All I ever wanted was to fight for the foresters. This house? It was important to you. They treated me like one of their own. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. Sound like they're quite close. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And we brought him back. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. What is it? But don't get your it? hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, I need to know. You know, do you know where it is? Uh, Please, I Sylvie. I need to know. Must be something bad. Something's wrong. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Yeah, something's going to be bad, I can tell. Uh, do you believe the stories that won't happen to us? Maybe they stayed. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. Huh. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! What the hell? Help! What Cutter! the hell? What the hell? Oh god, take the bow, Garrett. What the fuck? Look out! Holy shit! Big and wildling! Oh god! Wild walking, wild walking, wildling thingy. That was pretty damn weird, guys. 
Oh my god, that was pretty damn weird indeed. I think I'm going to end the episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And if you did indeed enjoy, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.